Part 1. White Clouds. Verdant Rain Moon. Tower of Black Winds. The ceaseless rains that satiate the verdant landscape of Fodlan are accompanied by fierce winds and mighty roars of thunder. This abundance of rain, sparkling as it falls against beams of emerging sunlight, is a constant reminder to the people of Fodlan that nature is ever wild and unpredictable. For when the rain finally does take pause, the clouds part and give way to a glorious rainbow. Oh, hello everyone, Space Oyster here, and welcome back to the Ash and Blue Lion Wolves. Last time, um, we did the, um, what did we do last time? Oh, right, I remember, the Goddess's Rite of Rebirth. And in this part, we will be getting a new mission and exploring the monastery. I have a new mission for you, Professor. I would like for you to take your students into Kingdom territory to eliminate some thieves. They stole a hero's relic from House Gautier of the Holy Kingdom of Fargus, the Lands of Ruin. Their leader's name is Miklan. He is apparently a disowned son of House Gautier. Um, why was he disowned? I believe it had something to do with his lack of a crest. Such happenings are fairly common within the kingdom. The crestless cannot unleash the goddess's power even if they possess a relic. Nonetheless, they are still capable of simply wielding those weapons. The hero's relics are immensely powerful weapons. We must meet this threat with adequate force. Unfortunately, most of the Knights of Seros are away from the monastery, purging the apostates of the Western Church. So we are entrusting you with this mission. After all, you wield the Sword of the Creator, which is more than capable of opposing any relic. The Sword of the Creator is a powerful weapon well beyond the other relics. You have nothing to fear. However, to ensure that no harm comes to the students, we will also send the Monastery's most skilled individuals to aid you. I must remind you that you are expected to conduct yourself in a manner befitting the wielder of that holy sword. Also, you should know that Professor Hanneman has been looking for you. That is all. Okay, then. I heard about our mission for this month. So, we are to eradicate thieves in Kingdom territory. I'm sorry for dragging you into the Kingdom's petty squabbles. This should not be your burden to bear, but my own. Uh, I'm happy to help. Thank you, Professor. Hearing you say that puts my mind at ease. Hmm? Hmm? Your Highness? Ah, it's been ages! It's been a long time. Two years, if I'm not mistaken. Indeed, Your Highness. You've grown so much in those years, I hardly recognize you. Um, who is this? This is Rod Reek, an old friend of my father's. I believe I've mentioned him, if you recall. When my father died four years ago, he looked after me as though I were his own son. <laughs> you flatter me, Your Highness. It was my honor to care for such a fine young man. It's nice to finally meet you, Professor. My son, Felix, has mentioned you on occasion. What brings you to the monastery, Rodri? Is it the thieves plaguing the kingdom? I'm afraid so. This is not merely a problem for House Gautier, but for everyone. The thieves have set up their headquarters in Fraldarius territory, and are mercilessly pillaging the villagers of that area. You have our full support in stopping those dastards. I thank you for your help, both of you. Um, yeah, sure. Good of you to come, Professor. I've heard much about you lately. Specifically, that you are able to awaken the Sword of the Creator's power. Thusly, it seems the true nature of your crest has been uncovered. I had, of course, seen your crest before. However, at first, I failed to recognize its true nature. Eventually, it dawned on me that what is visible is perhaps merely a small part of a greater whole. In other words, your crest is too significant to be detected when using normal instruments. 
After this discovery, I began researching crests that might fit that description, which allowed for a temporary hypothesis. However, I could not be certain. The crest my conclusions led me to was far too unusual. A crest thought to have disappeared from this world in the millennium since the fall of Nemesis, the King of Liberation. The crest of flames. That is what you possess. Gasp. Your ability to wield the sword of the creator has unequivocally proven my hypothesis. A legendary power, dormant since time immemorial and now resurrected. Okay then. I think my game skipped a little. Ugh. My recording stuff has been a little bit horrible. Oh, and it's lagging again. I'll have to fix that like I did last time. Joy. But in the meantime, I'll go ahead and get this recording done. So, let's ex explore, shall we? Alright, well. A stone? A stone. I do not understand. Yet, as I think of it, the pounding in my chest grows faster still. But is that me? Or is it you? I have no idea. But yeah, so this is a very weird character. She basically uh, works like um, Boylet's inner monologue, or I should say Boylet's. And so she gives voice to the things he wants to talk about. Oh, yeah, this is a I DLC thing. It's a stupid DLC thing, and I hate it. Ooh, what's that? Alright, so this is the sauna. So what you do is you pick out someone to go into the sauna with, and you're not very fan servicey outfits. Uh, I think I'm gonna pick... Ooh, who do I want to go with? You know what, let's go with this lovely lady here, Yuri. Anyway. So, and you're not at all fan servicey outfits, you sit in the sauna, and your goal is to try and get both characters up to, um, up to the point where they're both glowing. Quite literally, I might add. Um, I think increasing steam gives you a better chance to increase it, and then uh, wait, or just staying a bit longer makes it a bit better. But yeah, now you see, Yuri's glowing. So if I left, Yuri would get a bonus. But I don't want a bonus on Yuri, I want a bonus on Boileth. Let's just stay longer this time. Yeah. And then he got overheated, so Yuri doesn't get a bon uh, uh, bonus from it, but uh, at the very least you get more support points. But now, whenever um, whenever Boileth will train this month, uh, he will get um, a small bonus to the amount of gains he gets. I think it's very, very small, just plus two. So it's not game-breaking, but worth doing, I suppose, if you're going to invest a lot of activity points into training. Anyway, let's head on up here. Anything in here? Hmm. Oh, yes, there is. You know, Lindhart's room has a lot of extra books in it. It is very, very neat. Oh, what's this? A needle and thread. I'm not secretly eating cake. I can sense it. Okay, what's Bernie doing right now? Oh, fine. You got me. Keep it a secret, all right? Will do, Bernie. By the way, did you drop this right outside your door? I've been looking for this. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah, this is just so tough to do. I hate it when it unsyncs like that. How dare you fail me recording software? Oof. Let's see. What was I going? Mistake. The next mission is to rout bandits in the kingdom, is it not? I find the idea unsettling. Though the bandits have captured a large prize, they are insignificant in and of themselves. The matter would be more appropriately dealt with by Margrave Gautier or the Fargus royal family. I grant that I am most likely jumping at shadows, but I fear that if Fargus is weakened, the tipped scales will lead to widespread unrest. Hmm. That is very observant. If my conduct has misled you, I can only ask your forgiveness. Okay, then. Whatever. Let's see. Let's take care of our gardening. But yeah, Sothis acts as Boyla or Byleth's inner monologue, so 
I guess that's the whole point of the character, I, I, I suppose. I, it, it's an, a somewhat neat way to handle a silent protagonist, I guess. But, um, yeah, I'm just not a big fan of the whole, um... awful. Just awful what happened with the Rite of Rebirth. The infirmary. Well, it was a mess. Things are finally calm again. And so I've come here to unwind. Let me tell you, I put all of my knowledge to use keeping those kids alive. Still, the truth of it is that when someone faces death for the first time, well, they figure out who they are. They learn if they can do it again. We can't lose them, Professor. Not to battle or to cowardice. If you can keep them going, then I will too. Um, I will protect them. Yeah, I didn't expect her to get so emo emotional. Wherever did this turn oh, up? and she lost some herbs. Okay, anyway. Yeah, I'm just not a big fan of, um, of the whole Sothis talking in your head thing. It seems a little off to me. And it would have been better to have Byleth be their own character rather than uh, essentially channeling a character through them to speak their inner thoughts. Eh, I, I don't know. It, it's just so... Is it swimming sideways? Perhaps... Perhaps it is resigned to its woeful fate of being plucked from the water and eaten. Ah, Professor. You are so outgoing with all of the students. I would like to have more opportunities to connect with you. Though I am certain my brother would disapprove. Um, yeah, I'm sure he... Yeah, I'm sure he would. Might you help me with a favor? Oh, yeah! Flane's quest this month. It's very important. I'll get to it when we... Hmm. I'll get... I want... I'll get to it when we get to it. All right, anyway, let us move on. But yeah, just not a big fan of uh, the silent protagonist with a goddess's voice in his head. That's pretty much all I've been trying to say this whole time. Ooh, what's that? Hey there, Professor. I've been hearing about you a lot lately. Word on the street is you wield some amazing sword. If you ever want to sell it to me, I'd pay top G. <laughs> just kidding. Sort of. It's, uh, not for sale, is it? No, no, it's not, and I wouldn't sell it to, uh, and I wouldn't sell it to a two-bit, half-written character like you, anyway. Let's see, do we got anything over here? I don't know. I don't see anything. Um, let's see. Oh, right, the other thing. I guess I wanted to make a small addendum to recommended to recruit students. Uh, basically, for the Beagles, I would, um, I want to give a higher recommendation to Lysithia than before. <laughs> hey, Professor. Don't you think everyone's making too big a fuss over these crests, or heroes relics, or whatever they're called? How important can that stuff really be? Uh, I'm not Personally, sure. I don't even care that I don't have a crest. I'll take muscles over crests any day. Heck, I'll take muscles over a hot meal. Actually... Yeah, with Raphael's obsession with muscle muscles, it's very weird he's not gay. Or, yeah, you know what I mean. Hmm, well, whatever. Let's see, what do we got in here? A missing item? I thought school life would be peaceful and quiet with a sprinkle of drama to keep things interesting. But since you arrived, it's been one thing after another. Is that just a coincidence, I wonder? Um, oh, I believe so. I just kidding. Anyway, as I said before, I do like having a little drama in my life. I'm sure you do, Hilda. I'm sure you do. Never seen that? Oh, you found it! Thank you so, so much, her sweetheart. Hmm. Aristocrats are fools, allowing their lives to be dictated by their crests. Though, I suppose I am much the same in that regard. Um, I don't know, Lysithia. Uh. Hey! That! That's mine! Thank you for finding it! You don't seem like the type of girl who cares too much about whether or not someone has a crest to find value in their who they are and all that blah 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 blah. Not possible. Hey professor, did you happen to see that man I was looking for earlier? I just spotted him by the dining hall, but then he ran away. Um, what is he to you? To be honest, he's my father. He's using a different name now, but there's no mistaking it. 
It's him. I know it is. Father, I found you at last. Yeah. This is Fire Emblem. So the most clear sign of uh, being related is hair color. If two people have the hair, same hair color, they are definitely, absolutely, positively related. <laughs> so, you have a crest too, eh, Professor? Does that mean you're descended from nobility? You've certainly got the look for it. <laughs> I sure do wish there were more nobles like you, Professor. A teacher, a mercenary, and so very mysterious. How could a girl ever get enough? I appreciate the thought, but I'm not interested, Dorothea, even though you do have a nice hat. Uh, you and your class were at that fight in the Holy Mausoleum, right? I sincerely hope the holy artifacts are unscathed. I admit I wish I could have been there to see it all, even if it does make me queasy. But I was there too early. I'd gone first thing in the morning. At noon, one of the monks chased me out, saying I'd been there too long. Who were they to decide when I'd been somewhere too long? Yeah, who indeed? Oh, thank you. I gave up hope of ever finding it. Yeah, Lindark has been growing on me as a character. But anyway, yeah, as I was saying, I kind of want to uh, give a more hearty recommendation to recruiting Lysithia into the Beagles, um, thanks to not only her getting a paralog with Ferdinand, although that doesn't show up if you go the Crim Crimson Flower route. Uh, more on that in part two, I suppose, or if I do a Black Eagles run. But anyway, the point is... Um, since Lysithia is also really good at taking down the Death Knight, and the Beagles would want to take him down more than any other class, it's a good idea to have uh, as high of a uh, guarantee to take him out as many times as possible. So, recruiting Lysithia as quickly as possible is good. Professor, you looked like a natural wielding the sword of the Creator. It's strange though, isn't it? The last owner of the sword was Nemesis, but I thought he didn't have any descendants. Maybe I'm ne Nemesis reincarnated. <laughs> and didn't the crest have to come from somewhere? Like, the genetic line had to start, didn't it? So the whole plan to attack the monastery was some plot devised by the Western Church? That means they used Lenato. What right do they have to drag a good man like him into their schemes? <sighs> There's going to be a big investigation into the Western Church soon. I wish I could be a part of it. I want to hear for myself why Lenato had to die. Um, awkward. I don't have any missing items for you, Ash, but I'm sure you will find your answers. Anyway, up here is, um, um, the thingamajigs that Flane wants us to pick up. Uh, she wants us to clean up these statues. And once you do, um, stalling tactic. Um, it unlocks the, um, the ability to repair the statues nice. using Renown. Uh, let me go ahead and get these boosted up. So, uh, Renown is a s uh, I'll wait till we're done boosting them all up. Uh, I definitely have enough Renown thanks to New Game Plus to get the max, so I'll do that. You're all set to this one. You're all set to this one. You're all set mm. to this one. There we go. And then I think I just You're have two set. more boosts to, to go. This You're all set. And when to this one. You're all set. You're all set. Alright, so You're that's the biggest set. thing you can spend renown on. Um uh, the statues will give you uh, your entire roster uh, boosts to uh, small boosts to the number amount of experience they get for both weapons and just regular experience. And um, renown as a currency is mainly earned through auxiliary battles. I remembered the correct name for them this time. So whenever you complete an auxiliary battle, you get some renown and um, whatever rewards that uh, you can get from participating in it. And you also get renown from completing quests around the monastery. So those are those are both worthwhile reasons to um, to do the quests that are in the monastery, even though. Keep training until I can beat you. Well, okay, good luck with that. Anyway, um, 
anyways, that that's basically the main motivation to do quests around the monastery, even though they're largely just fetch quests, or go here, talk to a person, and then go back and talk to the other person. Oh, hi Petra. I have never had goings to the kingdom's north. I hear the people of north are cold and have much loneliness. Professor, I hear you have had work, uh, have worked as a mercenary in the kingdom. Did you find joy in this? You cannot remember? Is that having possibility? I have amazement. Yeah. Oh. I had lost the place of this. You have my thanks. Yeah, I'm not too sure if they did a particularly good job with uh, portraying Petra correctly, um, but she is she must be a very, very, very difficult character to write. So if they didn't pull her off 100%, that would make sense, but still. Ooh. For a hero's relic to be stolen, it's unheard of. And just last month, the sword of the creator was almost stolen too. <laughs> also quite unheard of. What impudence. Indeed. Those two are so secretive. Ooh. I have heard that someone from House Gatie, one of the Kingdom of Fargus's noble families, is causing some sort of commotion. <laughs> what a complete disgrace to the nobility. Well, to be fair, the son was disowned, so he's technically not a noble anymore. I feel bad for the guy, though. And yeah, it's part of the reason why I don't really care for. Hello, Professor. If I may introduce myself. I am Gilbert. My life has been spent as a dedicated knight. I am to accompany you on your assignment. I may have slowed a step in recent years, but I pledge to you the full extent of my abilities. Um, it's a pleasure to meet you. Oh, Professor, the pleasure is all mine, I assure you. Uh, yeah, sure. Do I have any of your items? I doubt it. But no, let's try. It does not belong to me. I suggest you speak to others. Anyway, we'll get into more on Gilbert later, but um, for now, he's just there. Wow, Lord Rodrigue in the flesh. What is Felix doing? This is such a rare opportunity for him to see his family. Yeah. Although, one good thing about Gilbert showing up is that he is one of the very few characters that can tutor you in heavy armor if you are interested in recruiting Ferdinand or Raphael. Uh, speaking of uh, Ferdinand... Thanks, professor. Nothing to report. Oh, come to think of it, last month there was something to report, wasn't there? Thanks to you, I hear that everything was resolved. I never realized that bandits had entered. I'm not a great guard after all, am I? I hope you will forgive me one day. No, oh, Gatekeeper, I can't stay mad at you. But, yeah, um, investing in heavy armor is pretty good to recruit Ferdinand, and, um... I could use uh, let's see. And Gilbert is one of the only two people who can train you in it, the other being Eloise. So him being around the monastery is helpful uh, if you're interested in recruiting those two. And, um... Oh, I already picked that up for you. Here you go. Now we have access to the blacksmith. So the blacksmith is um, very useful in that um, when you... Uh, what the blacksmith will do for you is she can... Um, repair your items, as well as um, uh, improve them and turn them into new ones. Anyway, I was going to make a... Uh, the coffin of Saros in the Holy Mausoleum should have held her remains. Instead, they say it held the Sword of the Creator. What could it mean? It means someone put the Sword of the Creator in that coffin. Anyway, um, the one re one reason why I'm, uh, or the main reason why I'm recommending recruiting uh, Ferdinand... Some people are unhappy because they don't have the crest they want. And some are unhappy because they have a crest they never asked for. Oh, poor Marianne. But, um, I'm kind of recommending Ferdinand because, um, recruiting oh, him... This, this is mine. Thank you for returning it. Uh, recruiting him can make part two a bit, um... Emotionally easier. The head of the Western Church holds the title of bishop. That's not as distinguished as an archbishop, such as Lady Rhea, but it still comes with a fair amount of authority. If someone in that position plotted an assassination, I cannot help but think it must have been instigated by some outside force. There are bishops in the Eastern Church as well, but to speak frankly, they do not have much impact. 
They are under the influence of both the Archbishop and the Leicester Alliance, so their ability to voice grievances is quite limited. Um, well, that's not good. I've heard wars have started because of taxation without representation. You ought to get on that, Thomas. Or Tomas. Why do they pronounce their names weird? It's stupid. <laughs> you acquitted yourself honorably last month. To think they'd go into the Holy Mausoleum and assault the Goddess Tower. I cannot imagine the Western Church was acting on its own. Someone must have been helping them. As for the Masked Knight who escaped, his days are numbered. I hope we find him soon, so I can kill him myself. Okay then, I'm not creeped out at all. Um, and I don't have any items for you, so we're good. Uh, let's see, let's go ahead and talk to Sylvain. I'm so sorry my older brother is causing you all this hassle, Professor. Don't misunderstand. I always thought he was a piece of garbage, but I never thought he'd steal the relic. I can't wait to see his face when he realizes I'm in the group that was sent to take him down. Oh yeah, I'm sure he'll be thrilled to see you again, Sylvain. Oh, that's mine. Oh, thanks, Professor. You really saved the day. But unfortunately for you, you're not in my active party, so you won't get that opportunity. Professor, have you seen my son perchance? I have need of him. Uh, I have no idea where he's at. I guess he's in his room. Thank you, Professor. I must ask him not to distract you, Professor, nor his highness from the matter at hand. Right. That's it? That's not very important. Felix knows that already. Jeez, have more faith in your son, mister. Although, I did expect Felix's dad to be a bit more, well, like Felix. You know, edgelordy like Although, he's, Felix isn't exactly an edgelord so much as he's very sundere, I think that's the right term for it. Or at least that's what, I, what I've heard someone describe him as. I don't know, I still just get edgelord vibes from Mr. Felix. Uh, let's see. Ah, Professor. Gerald was looking for you. Well, where is he? He has gone off somewhere. If he is not in his room, then surely someone has seen him. Ask around. Oh, joy. I have something to ask of you. I have something to And ask he's you. got two. But yeah, this this month is the I'm sorry to Oh, I was so sure that was his. Anyway. Ooh. You must be rather bewildered by the power that was hidden within. However, know that I believe in you. I have no doubt that you will use that power justly. You will most certainly fulfill the grand destiny that the goddess has seen fit to grant you. If you say so, lady. May I ask a favor? May I ask a favor? Oh. You? I just realized what this is. So, this is a DLC quest, uh, something they added. To have been invited. Something they added for the DLC, I think, where you can have tea with Rhea. Before, she didn't have any lost items, and she, you couldn't have tea with her, so the only way to boost your supports with her was to pick good dialogue options and to, uh, uh, let's see. Oh, uh, yeah, I can't really read those, so I'm not gonna bother to try, but, um, hmm. But without. Uh, but with Rhea, the only way to boost her supports before was to give her gifts, train with her, and pick the right dialogue options during story moments. How quickly this delightful time has passed. However, we must return to our work. And yeah, inviting people to tea, that's pretty much how it goes. Um, they, they, um, I guess they say something, you pick a response, uh, you gotta pick the one that they... Uh, that they like the most, and then and then the tea time goes well. Um, that side quest I did that lets me see. Um, oh, Professor, are you looking for Captain Gerald? I just saw him in the Knights Hall a little while ago. He was talking with a female knight, but I didn't get a good look at who she was. Hmm, a lady knight, huh? Thank you, Leonie. But yeah, um, what was I talking about again? Hmm, I don't remember. Oh, right, right. That uh, DLC quest we did that lets me see who, uh, what class the hidden items are from, or missing items are from. Oh my. The Crest of Flames? Could it really? Yes, the actual Crest of Flames! <laughs> no, that is quite enough. I should compose myself. I must remain objective in my research. 
objective, professional. Um, I respect your self-control. The scandal with the Western Church troubles me. We cannot afford to let ourselves be swept along, and yet... Finish your sentence, Mr. Hanuman! But he looks so happy. How could I not turn him down? Let's see, is this yours? I'm not sure. No, I didn't think so. I wonder who that is. Anyway, um, that thing that I got, that quest... Hi. Don't you think Professor Hanuman's been acting a bit strange? Maybe he's made some kind of big discovery. Huge. Do you have any lost items? Oh, that's mine. Thank you so much. I've been looking everywhere. Not a problem. But yeah, uh, that quest also gives you an extra chance to uh, pick the right dialogue option during tea time if you happen to get the wrong one first. So it's a handy side quest to have. I'm glad they put it in. I'm just sad it's DLC. Have you seen a man who looks like me? He's middle-aged and relatively tall. I have. Give a chance. Tell him I've gone out, okay? Oh, oops. I already told him you're in your room. I'm sorry, Felix. Your dad wanted to talk to you about things that are unimportant because he's a doting da do dad do I have to be careful how I say dad do I heard about the things you did. I'm so glad Lady Ray is safe. I figure you're a great person after all, Professor. Hmm. I learned all sorts of things, so I can do as much as possible for Lady Rhea. Cleaning, chopping wood, making feed. Oh, and I'm learning the bow and arrow from Shamir. I'm happy to help you out with anything you need done for your class. You betcha. I'm your guy, Professor. Since, you know, you can't exactly add me to your class or anything. Here we have Cyril. At first glance, Cyril looks like a typical growth unit. What I mean by that is a character who has a low starting level but high growth rates to make up for it. His personal skill aptitude boosts all of his growth rates by about 20%. However, that first glance is a bit deceiving. Aptitude makes his growth rates turn out to be about the same as everyone else's, so he effectively has even growth rates with the rest of the class, and he can be recruited early enough in the Blue Lions and Golden Eagle routes, or not Blue, not Golden Eagles, Golden Deer. Yeah, sorry, long day. Anyway, yeah, he can be recruited early enough in both of those routes, so that way he can, um, he can have time to be leveled up and trained. All of that is to say that Cyril's growth rates aren't his best selling points. Rather, they're his bases and his starting or his weapon proficiencies. He starts with a C plus in axes and C in bows, both of which make him qualify for brigand and archer at base. So he can go into both of those classes and pick up a useful skill that he can use later in the game. Very, very handy. He's also proficient in using, um, well, not proficient, but he has a strength in riding and flying allowing him to easily become a mounted class of your choice. And he's got lances to go with it, so he can train to be a cavalier and a paladin before becoming a, a bow knight as a master class in the endgame. So, Cyril's weapon, or weapon strengths are what really make him stand out. Focus on what he's good at, and he shouldn't let you down. Well, you say that, but you're going to behave pretty much like a student in our class. Hey, Teach, I hear you were able to use the Sword of the Creator. That means... what does that mean? Could it mean that you're a descendant of Nemesis, the King of Liberation? Um, probably. That, I've heard that's the way that works. Anyway, now that we've got Cyril in our class, we're gonna move on. I, um, unlike other, other characters where I'm not too sure I, I want to use them, but, uh, well, I want to use them, but I'm not too sure when to get them. I know Lord Rodrigue. He paid repeated visits to his highness after the previous king was killed. Let's see, do I have anything of yours to do? Oh, that belongs to me. I apologize for the trouble. There we go. Okay. Say, I hear that a knight of Seros named Gilbert will be joining us for our mission this moon. He is skilled, which is surely a boon for us. Still, that was not very thoughtful of Lady Rhea. And do you know him? Ah, uh, well... <clears throat> No, I do not. <laughs> not really. All I will say is that we have trained together a few times in the past. House Gautier is Sylvain's home. It would be nice of you to check on him as well. 
I'm well ahead of you, Dimitri. Anyway, um, yeah, sir. Uh, oh. Her face looks familiar. Well, that's not creepy. You're not creepy, Yuritsa. Anyway, um, Cyril is a character I recommend, um, recruiting as soon as possible. Yeah, we're not gonna talk to Catherine. I know exactly where Gerald's at. You go this way. Anyway, because, um, unlike other characters, Cyril doesn't change classes on his own. Hey, I wanted to ask you to join me, but I couldn't find you. So, here I am. I was thinking we should visit your mother. She's resting beneath this humble grave. Oh, uh, why is her grave here? Oh, of course you would ask that. I wouldn't know where to begin. I suppose I haven't talked much about her. She was gentle and smart. Oh, so smart. A wonderful cook. Always kind to everyone. And she loved flowers. Whenever I brought her back an unusual flower, her face would light up. I cherish those memories. <laughs> I can't count how many times she made me happy just by smiling. And she smiled the most when she was pregnant with you. She died right after you were born. She wasn't able to spend much time with you. But she loved you with all her heart. That's the truest thing I know. Never forget it. This ring is the only keepsake I have of her. In time, it will be yours. One day, I hope you'll give this ring to someone you love as well as I love her. Hmm. Well, all right then. You have my thanks. Oh, right. I was talking about Cyril. Uh, well, that's in a very abrupt change and kind of awkward given what we were talking about before, but whatever. Um, with Cyril, um, you, you recruit. Since he doesn't change classes on his own, recruiting him as soon as possible gives him the best opportunity to turn out. Um, yeah, 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 we already talked to you. To turn out halfway decent. Thank you Sorry, so I heard much. a noise. Anyway. Uh, anyway, um... Now, let's see, we're going this way, and then, um... Um, because Cyril stays as a commoner the whole time, he... Yeah, 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 stop talking so much. Okay, uh, let's see, you got, uh, those... You. I appreciate your effort. Uh, so, since Cyril stays as a commoner the whole time he's not recruited, he will only, um, uh, his growths will be, uh, entirely his own. He doesn't get any bonuses, or uh, his growths aren't affected from whatever classes he would promote into, naturally, because he doesn't promote naturally, uh, when he's not recruited. So, picking him up as soon as possible is a good idea. He also learns some very valuable weapon skills, and his starting ranks are high enough that he's worth it, um, are worth getting as soon as possible, that he can be a bit of a crutch. Hey you, listen up. I've got something to report. Actually, if I recall correctly, which is my job and passion, there were reportable happenings up top as well. That's why I'm still stuck with Mr. Backup. I'm still here by request of Lord Seteth. You can never be too vigilant. Truth be told, I'm used to the guy by now. Not Yuri, though. He shoots him a pointed glare every time he walks by. <laughs> How Yuri is that? It would only be more Yuri if it was two girls making out, I suppose. <sighs> Elfric used to use his position in the church to look out for Abyss. He basically set this whole place up for us. Then some scandal or other forced him out. Gotta wonder what got the church so riled up. But yeah, Cyril's a, an interesting sort of, um, I guess, crutch character is the right way to put it, but maybe not. Yeah. Um, nice sword, Chatterbox. I like how it lights up. That's a neat trick. But now that you have it, the church is going to want to use your power for their own ends. Are you going to let that happen? Um, no. Good. Glad to hear it. you got to think for yourself. You're too good to become one of their stooges. Thank you for the encouragement, Happy. But, um, yeah. Uh, so even though Cyril has that skill aptitude, it just makes his growths uh, about the same as everyone else's, rather than superior. So, always a good idea to recruit him as soon as you can. Although, that said, um, you can't recruit him on the Beagle's route, so that's not really an option. Abyss. The best fighter in Abyss? Balthus, probably. 
Yuri's definitely the most cunning. Constance is the strongest with magic. The most dangerous of them all, though? Happy. You've heard the rumors, haven't you? Yeah, she's... Oh, uh, yeah, she summons monsters when she sighs. You're a busy one, aren't you? Always on the road. Being a professor seems like a tough gig. Back when I was first enrolled here, we rarely traveled. The Battle of the Eagle and Lion was about it. This really stirs up the old memories. When I took part, my house lost. It may have been my fault. It's hard to believe, but I was pretty rash back then. Hey, think I can join in again this year? Bet you can pull some strings and make it happen, yeah? I'm sure I can. Let's see. No, that's not yours. <laughs> Miklon. I know that guy. Northern Fargus, he's pretty well known. And not in a good way. The guy does what he pleases. Attacking towns in Margrave Gautier's territory relentlessly. Stealing food and even abducting women. I may be the leader of a bunch of thugs, too. But I'm nothing like that slime bag. Um, you were... Uh, a bit. I've got folks who follow my lead, but the similarities end there. A hero's relic can turn a slime bag like Miklon into a knight. I know you've got one of those shinies yourself, but don't go doing anything reckless. Oh, you found it, huh? I've been looking everywhere for that. Thanks. Uh, yeah, I missed my line there, but that is a okay. But yeah, so. My recommendation is for blue lions and golden deer, recruit Cyril as soon as possible. Anyway, I'll see you all next time.